Hey what's up everybody my name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Gold of War. Last time we uh, struggled our way through all the Muspelheim challenge as well, the uh, normal and hard challenges because apparently a new tier has opened up but uh, according to Atreus the sword told us we could go this way so we are allowed to go this way apparently because of the game but uh, back at the Bifrost thingy and we'll be heading back to Midgard because today, today we'll be heading back there, okay? Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future. Control of his fate. He could control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Okay, which kind of makes him sound like a dictator. But today we're going to do the final treasure maps we still uh, have lying around. And then uh, I think we'll be going on with the main quest because now we have a bit uh, nicer gear because uh, our skirt is on fire, uh, our axe is on fire and our hands are on fire. So that's that sounds like something really, really powerful. But uh, first treasure chest is in the Nortree stronghold. So the home base of the Harezla Farmader, Farmadir or whatever you want to call them. So the, the Reavers. So we'll be heading there really quickly. See you there in a second. So the Nortry stronghold, right past the water wheel, which is now completely broken. Uh, we need to go into the back. There's this giant pillar between the two gates. And I think if I climb up here, we will find the treasure we're looking for. Because uh, we could see the water wheel in the background. So I think, yeah, there it is. There's the little cache. There we go. And there we have unyielding cinders, unquenchable fire from the depths of Muspelheim, used to upgrade pommels with burn damage effects. So that's really handy because we can upgrade our pommel. And there we go, finder's fee completed, 14,000 hack silver and a sturdy sigil of courage added. But on to the next one, I think I still have one left. Oh no, never mind. That means we'll be heading straight back to, uh, to the center area of the game, so to your temple. So see you guys in a second. So while we're at it, I'm actually gonna stop by the sunken city because there's a magical lock here. Oh god. That's a level 7 dude. Okay. So I think I can tap this guy's shield away, but I need to uh, do it. Okay, that's one. And there we go. Okay, that, that was a bit of a stupid fight, but there we go. That gold does an inscribed sign of courage. I don't know why that was yellow, actually. That looked yellow, but magical lock. Here we go. Follow me, Atreus. And there we go. Opened up, so I'm wondering if this is just... Yeah, just a chest. Because I don't think this was marked as one of the seven hidden chambers. So this is just Solus Part of Hamsteel and World Serpent Scales, which is silly because it was actually guarded by tough enemies. But moving on, let's go back to Tyr's Temple. Okay, I know I saw something. I saw it too. Freya did say the Jotunheim Realm Tower was missing from the way, but maybe only kinda. Very strange indeed. Hmm. So it seems the Jotunheim Tower isn't gone completely, because we've seen that once before. 
But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see that soon since we're heading towards Jotunheim. But let's get off here and then I think if I just move along the edge here, yeah, there we go. Brother, There's another magical lock. Off. So let's try and open this one up because I feel like they've been talking about treasure underneath this temple for a while now. So that's two. There we go. Doesn't really matter that the other two are dissipating apparently. Explore the vault behind the lock. Wow. I can't believe we're setting foot in Tears Vault. Okay, Tears Bridge Interior. Another one of these. Huh. Okay, but the cent Tear. the but centerpiece the is missing. The panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere too. Interesting. So they gave Tyr the special sight Actually, along with Mimir. Let me show you how to read this. Okay. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Okay. Andreas. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not oh. that. What's going on? Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like... What's going on? Rain? What the fuck? Oh, hi! You ruined everything! Hello, Modi. I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Because Magni's gone. What be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Ah, thank you, Atreus. Come on, Atreus. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! Oh, he's gonna fucking kill you, boy. Oh, come on. Come on, Kratos. I don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father. Stop it! Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoops. Okay. Mostly God broke him. I think he did. Because that was the Spartan rage. There we go. Like father, like son. No. Come on, kill him. I'm, I'm pressing the buttons, but nothing's happening. Oh, he's just gonna murder your ass. I'm not even gonna have to do anything. Goodbye. Punch. No. Yeah, he's gonna rip your face off. This isn't over. Oh, come on, get over here. Don't leave. Ah, oh, damn it. Brother, the boy. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to pay a visit to Freya first. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. God damn it. Okay, I thought this was going to be a side quest. I didn't realize this was going to be the main story. Um, okay, ask Freya for help. The sickness. Well, I guess here we go then. Um, what is that outside? Or has that all... No. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Or is the, the world just feeling my pain right now? What the hell? I can't really... Freya's isn't far. I can't really do anything much more than that. Oh, wow. Things are changing, are they? Ooh, and he looks bad. Alright, so now, yeah, Kratos now had to put Mimir's head correctly. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't... 
Did the bridge... Yeah, the... What? The bridge changed position again. Back to what it was originally. But the statue is still gone, so we definitely didn't go back in time. What the hell is going on? The bridge moved without us doing anything. Because the bridge wasn't in that direction before. It was pointing towards the oarsman. This is weird. But, on to Freya. I'll uh, skip through this if nothing of interest happens, and otherwise I'll see you uh, at Freya's. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Yeah, because Kratos never told Atreus that he's a demigod. Both of them, actually, probably. Since Atreus almost bursted in a Spartan rage over there. That, I thought that was going to be awesome for a second until, of course, that happened. Um, yeah, it's cool that they have the little extra animation now because Mimir's head usually... Atreus takes the head and puts it next to him, but now we have to do all of that, of course. Whew. I'm hoping she's there because otherwise we're going to have a bit of a problem. There we go. Because I was expecting this to happen at some point, that we were going to lose Atreus for a second. Was that... Somebody just called the serpent. Does that mean that the water's going to rise? I don't see the water rising in the background, but... Ooh, things are changing. I'm not sure I like it. Oh, look at him. He's pacing. I'm not doing that, by the way. He's he's really impatiently pacing. I love how this changed all of a sudden. I mean, Kratos' character just changed a lot, during, even during this game, not just from uh, God of War 3 to this one. We must hurry. Yeah, I know, but I can't really run with a trace in my arms, apparently. I'm a super strong demigod, but apparently I can't run with a small child in my hands. Come on, Kratos, move it along. And bang on the door. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? I think it is urgent. If she's there, I'm she still hears. A god. Go away! <laughs> the boy has followed you! Freya! Oh, it's not a time to laugh, but that was. Inside. Her reaction. This is no ordinary illness. I'm still a the god. Boy's true nature, Go away. Your true nature fights within him. You're gonna I have to tell him. To him. Will you help me? Wow. Of course. I've never seen Kratos this is a rare helpless. Ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm -hmm. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Oh. Then I must return home. Yes, I know what it's gonna be. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Oh, yes. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. Oh, yes. And he needs his father. Finally, new weapons. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? 
Well, Kratos has been back hey, from hell like three times already, so hurry. I don't think he cares Through too my much. Garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back. Oh, we're gonna Bridge get the Blades of Chaos back. Yes. Yes. I mean, of course, it's super bad that Atreus is here and we're gonna have to fight. Probably through a lot of enemies yeah. without him. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Now that we know so much about her, that actually makes a lot of sense, of course. Because she was tricked into marriage by Mimir. And then, of course, by Odin, just betrayed a few times and then just completely tortured. Use Freya's boat to return home. Oh, God. Oh, yes, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get the Blades of Chaos. I mean, it's gonna be that, right? Because those blades were, yeah, just, just engulfed in flame all the time. Use the garden door. My boat is down the path. And he was he was touching his Hell arms. Of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish. Because he was touching his arms, and his arms, of course, is where the the blades were stuck to with the chains before. And that's gonna that's gonna change the entire game. If you can use those continuously. Oh wow, and yes, the world is breaking down. Of, or is that because, oh, somebody was calling the serpent. And of course, thunderstorms. Is Thor around? Okay, but this is gonna, this, sh this is gonna change the game. Because combat-wise, the Leviathan Axe is a lot different than the Blades of Chaos, just because, you know, the Leviathan Axe is close combat. You need to get close to even do anything you can throw it but that's minimal damage and for most of the combat you need to stay close to actually do something but the blades of chaos are on chains which means you can actually use them from a distance more and now oh but if you can switch of course you can use the blades of chaos against uh, the hellwalkers and then the leviathan axe against anything else oh hi atina Oh, this is crazy. Why is she here? Athena. That, uh, yeah, so Athena died at the end of God of War 2, protecting Kratos. She, she's always been a ghost since Get then. Out of my head. And she's kind of been haunting uh, Kratos since that. So you really need to, a bit of backstory. Is she still there? So she was killed by Zeus accidentally when Zeus tried to kill Kratos and Athena jumped in between the two of them and she's gone again. Just to give you a bit of backstory. Because, uh... And it's been implied that Kratos always had a bit of a thing for Athena. Uh, she was ki kind of a, a mother figure for him during most of the, the games. Because she was there in God of War 3 as well, as the ghost. Uh, and at the end she tried to get the uh, the power of hope back from Kratos. And Kratos decided to kill himself to give the power of hope, well, to the world, back to the people. But of course, by then the world was totally destroyed because Kratos killed all the gods. And the gods were tied to uh, everything in nature, which uh, doesn't seem any different in here. Because the world is blowing up. Yeah, it does strike a, a resemblance with uh, the stuff around here, but with God of War, the previous trilogy, because of course we killed one of the gods now and the world is starting to turn around. And there we go. The magic Uber boat brought us back home. So I think this is the dock we first arrived at, if I'm not mistaken, the first time we, well, the, the, in the very first episode when we were carrying the log around. Oh god. 
Boom. Can I actually do something against these guys? No. So we need to be careful. They are pretty low level, which is fine. Because, of course, the game doesn't expect me to have uh, the full muscle high level. Let's just punch this guy to oblivion. Boom! And grab. So, Hellwalkers. There is, of course, the reason it's called Hellheim is because Thor's sister is called Hell. Well, there we go. Or Hella, Hella, Hell, whatever. It's something to do with Thor's sister, anyway. There we go. So just stunning them is always the best idea. Stamping on the heads just takes care of that. I'm gonna miss Atreus's uh, call out. <laughs> Into the tree, smack in your face. And boom. And that was a stance, I think, because I did a bit of a different animation there. A bit of hack silver lying around, not much, 600. But did he bury the swords, the blades in the house? Must be then. Oh, Mommy Mir, don't you have anything nifty to say? Lifting that up. Okay. Oh, come on, let me be correct. It can't be anything else, right? He was, yeah, and he removed, he removed his braces already. Oh yes. There we go. The past coming back to haunt you, Kratos. To save your son, you'll have to become what you were. Or maybe maybe they're gonna fix it by not having him attach the chains as he did before, although why would he remove his braces? In that case, there we go. There they are. Ooh, this is giving me chills. Yeah, you really see him struggling. He doesn't want to really do this, of course. There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Holy shit, this is awesome. Goodbye, Tina. <laughs> Alright, brother. Let's see where those blades come Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I was instinctively using different buttons now. I was using square and triangle to attack. Don't forget to attack like usual. Don't forget Oh! Wait. How did I Wait. How did I switch? How did I switch? I switched back to the axe and I don't know how I did it. No no no. How how do I switch? Oh, I wrote to the left, apparently. Okay, just check the controls. So, let's see if the old combo still still work. So, um, 
just gonna make a bit of a bit of space here. So one, one, and oh, no. one, one, and yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, this still works as it does. Oh wait, wait, wait! Did the combo still work? No. Okay. Fair enough. Probably need to unlock those. I'm actually dodging instead of using the shields as well because I'm not used to using the shields with Blades of Chaos. This is awesome. I do miss the big overhead smash a bit. Oh yeah, there's the overhead smash, so I need to use the heavy combos. Oh yeah, there we go. Blammo! Oh yeah, we do have a lot of extra range now. Come on, bunnies. Oh yes, fits like a glove, baby. Hello, old friend, indeed. I believe I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Yeah. Although there is, of course, there is a, a magic uh, door over here, but if that houses a Valkyrie, I don't want to actually do that. So let's just use the portal and get back to Tyr's Temple, because I want to head to Helheim with the Blades of Chaos. I'm actually quickly going to check the options menu to see if there's another section now. Oh, you know what's even better? There's a separate grip for the Blades of Chaos and light and heavy runic attacks. Separate, because I can't use any that I already have. This is... This is awesome. There's, it's been a while since I talked about that because I wanted to, I think on one of the episode six or seven or something, I talked about if there were going to be any other weapons than the Leviathan Axe and yeah, there we go. And there's another section for it as well. So um, let's just uh, level that up a bit. So a running attack, then we have Hold R2 to perform a powerful attack that launches enemies in the air. So the, yeah, the launch from the previous games, then... Oh, you can throw it as well. You can throw it as well. Oh, I can't purchase. Oh, I can do that already. Okay. Now perform qu attacks in quick succession without sustaining damage to power up burn damage. Fair enough. So it's the same thing. It's pretty much the, the same thing. So there we go. Aim and press R2 to perform a powerful sweeping attack. Holy shit. And then we can level that up apparently as well. So I have plenty of uh, experience, by the way. So, but I can't actually purchase anything else because I have all the skills, but I'm, I'm sure that we're going to see that later on. So, let's head back to Tyr's Temple and maybe we can actually upgrade it as well with uh, Brock. We'll see about that. Well, I'm pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Yeah, clearly. You know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. <laughs> Athena, dead giveaway. Yeah, that was kind of a dead giveaway indeed. So, uh, so Brock, let's see if he what? has anything to hey, say about that. You reek of foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? Yeah, what are those indeed? I've never seen the like. That's got to be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son. My brother and me created Mjolnir for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them... Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? Yeah, uh, the little turd is a bit sick. You. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. Well, kind of the Aesir. My responsibility to make it right. You can upgrade them. You can upgrade them. You got to take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? 
I can do things. When I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. Upgrade, upgrade them. Yes, so yes, where yes, you yes, 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 yes. In such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. Can I, can I upgrade them? I'll be keeping my eye on you. Blades, pommel. Grips of the Forgotten Flame. But you know what? My PlayStation can explode, so see you guys in a second. And there we go. The Traveler's Armor completed as well, because apparently I lost a lot of stuff from uh, the Travelers that I've beaten. Haven't uh, gotten enough resources for that. But uh, yeah, I could upgrade those, but I'm not going to. Um, and I definitely need to go back to Muspelheim at some point, because a lot of the stuff from the Chaos Blades are upgraded with uh, Muspelheim materials. But that's uh, it for Brock's upgrade. So we just got the uh, the Muspelheim grips on the Blades of Chaos as well. So that's gonna be that's gonna be very very nice. So let's head to Helheim, because uh, yeah, I want to get a trace back as quickly as possible, because I'm not gonna do a Muspelheim without him. Um, so yeah. Hell it is. It's almost as we should uh, say, uh, say go back to hell and back table. again. There we go. We got a new uh, rune to get us to hell. It looks like all those runes are the same. It's just the God of War Omega symbol. But uh, yeah, let's move all of this to hell. There we go. We are. We really, really are. We're going to hell, Mimir. We're going to hell. And I thought Muspelheim was hell, but apparently, of course, in uh, Norse mythology, hell is just very cold instead of very, very hot. Um, big beam incoming? Or not? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Fire away! So yeah, I feared that there was going to be a chapter without Atreus. And uh, apparently we have uh, clearly reached that point. So, um, hmm. I do wonder if we're going to come across a female, well, Aesir. Because we've of course seen Freya already, but uh, for the most part, the rest of the Aesir were uh, male gods. And of course, I think Freya is actually a Vanir, so a Vanir gold is another Aesir gold. I'll be watching your back. Thank you, thank you, Brock. I'm glad you're here in hell as well. Even the flipping. Let me flipping... take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Even the Not flames even are Odin blue. Can survive this cold. So I hope those blades work. Yeah, they're gonna keep me hot. I suppose. Oh, gold. Well, that's cozy. Helheim. Oh, this makes it so much easier to kill Pulse. Yes. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge. It should lead us straight to him. Okay, you know, follow the bridge, you I said. really hope never to see this place again. Brooches found. So that's that. So follow the bridge, which is of course not what we're gonna do, because I saw a tunnel over here. Hello? Oh. So this is one of those things that I still don't know how those work, but maybe we find the answer in uh, in Helheim here. Because I feel like everything you find in a realm is actually solvable. Ah, get your icicle back. And oops, go back. And there we go. And a uppercut. Oh, there we go. Because usually in the uh, the original games, if you did that uppercut thingy, like this one, you followed them up in the air so you could start doing combos in the air, but uh, I suppose they wouldn't do that for this game. That hell's bramble blocking the path. Seriously? Fuck off. You 
that? One of the many reasons we went back for those blades. So now we have that already. So that means those green things are the only thing uh, keeping us from... Uh, yeah, from everything in the game, I think. Uh, so Spartan Charge, Light Runic Attack, a dash attack that slams enemies with a fiery shield and inflicts a small amount of burn damage. Uh, yes. And equip. I believe you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, so that's actually a shield attack, which is, of course, interesting because um, in one of the PSP games, I can't, I'm not sure which one of the two. You got actually a spear. What the fuck is that? Probably shouldn't. Shouldn't let them come close. Just because I feel like these things explode. There we go. Ice zombies. They actually got a, a spear and a shield, which is pretty much almost what we're having here, of course, because now we have a shield and the Blades of Chaos. Those things are just locked in there. And everything seems fine for the most part. Aside from, of course, the, the freezing cold and everything like that. Just jump over. Jump over. Um, projectiles! Oh god. So don't let them touch you. Call it. Oh! There's uh, the spirits trying to cross the bridge. Oh, this is all wrong. Only the newly dead should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is over well. So I can't really do anything about these, of course. Um, just, hmm. This is creepy. So yeah, the spirits can't go through because the gate is locked. And the gate is locked because hell is full up on everything. Locked? Now what? Well, there's Bramble on the left here, so I suppose we can go over here, just drop off. Why would there be a side route? I mean, <laughs> this is hell, right? Because the bramble isn't that big that you couldn't climb over it, especially if you're a flippin' spirit, but there we go. Side route into hell. Ooh, this is gonna be a long episode, by the way. But, um, yeah. Ooh. This is a cool area. Um, this opens up. Look at that. Okay, shield guys. Yeah, for fuck's sake, I can't really... Da -da 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 -da. And I just got him before the other ones attacked me. There we go. And then of course just dump, dump the shield away. Thank you. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go, Chuglum. Lammo! I love these things. I still love these things, I should say. Because, yeah, the Blades of Chaos are, of course, a, a staple we killed the Reavers near of the God of War series. They came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense, because, yeah, 
if you don't waste too much time here. We don't lose the time trying to help Atreus. But where is this supposed to go? And there we go. Projectiles in the face. And there we go. Yeah, I'm getting used to this. This is definitely not a problem. Can I do something with these things? No. Just smashing bolts around. And then we have... So I think there was another bramble on the other side of this thing. There we go. That drops that down and then we have a chest on this side, I think. There we go. Every bit of hack silver helps. 4,000 hack silver. Always handy. Okay. Oh, I was gonna get... I wanted to get that... Oh, hi. He blocks that, of course. Oh. And there we go. Goodbye, Viking. Did I ever do that to a Viking? Nope. I don't think I did. There we go. Jesus. He's gonna block for a second. And then grab this guy. Every little bit helps. And he explodes onto his friend. Yes, baby. Uh, parry of the projectiles in between my combos. I feel like a gold in this thing. Yeah, bye. This Valhalla. Is it within hell? Oh, no, no. Valhalla is part of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Okay then, that's horrible, but yeah, we fit in the case here. Let's get rid of the bramble. And then, because I can get back up here, because there is a chest up there, but how do I even get to it? And I saw a bit of bramble up here, so I'm wondering what that's hiding. That point there could lead us out. We can reach it. That got us another brooch. And hmm. so it looks like that's the way forward, right? Uh, just need to find the way down again. And then we have a bit of bramble over here, which drops down. Aha! Okay, never mind. Found my way forward. Just a bit of a uh, very, very light puzzling. Look for the bramble and slash it down. And then you get uh, the opening. I do wonder what's wrong with these statues, because they really look really funny. Will killing the bridge keeper help the dead leave Midgard? I don't expect it will. Though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? Us, probably. Since we're, we've been doing weird things all over the place lately. Oh yeah, this is... Come on. Come on. I know you're going to spawn enemies. So might as well get it over with. Or not. No? Nothing? Oh. 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 Might, might as well rub it in me, game. 
that the fact that the trace is gone, so we need to get back here with the trace anyway. Okay, fair enough. Let's move forward. The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. And what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Um, Start some trouble. You can do that, right? Um, Mimir? What's up with the giant bird? He, that thing looks creepy as fuck. Um, and then of course the troll guarding the bridge. And we don't want to cross the bridge. So that means we're almost there then. Just kill the troll. But before that we're going to take a little break. So next time we're going to kill the gatekeeper, I think. But I have a feeling that that big giant bird is going to... Do something as well. I don't think it's just there for window dressing. But thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of God of War. Goodbye.